welcome to my craft room. Today, we're gonna work on some mas a masculine card for either Valentine's Day, it can be for birthday, it could be for anniversary, because I didn't really put any specific um, day on it, okay? So, um, and it's, I have all men here, so sometimes it's hard for me to find good masculine card, more, that lean more masculine. And um, so, I really, really like this um, Anna Griff Griffith um, design. And so, I it was just blank on the front, the Cricut thing. So, I added, um, you make my heart soar. And then, when you open it up, it's got this really cute pop-up airplane. But as you can see, I left the rest of it blank. So, if you would like to... Uh, write something or if you want to uh, cut out something that says happy Valentine's Day, happy anniversary, happy birthday, whatever, you still have room to do that. But I wanted to kind of keep it a little more generic so it would have more use for it. So there you go. Let's go make it. Okay, guys, here we are on our blank canvas. Okay, you just go to the front, hit new project, blank canvas. So the card, you're going to go down here to images. Now, to look for specific images, you have to put a hashtag on there, and everything starts with an M. The first one is 274-A4-B7. A4-B7. Okay, there's your card. That's That's the card that the base card and then we'll add the things for the front you'll see i highlighted it it put down here by insert and then if you want to do them one at a time you just hit the insert every time or you can just load them all up here on the bottom now you don't need me to go through every single number and pull them up and all that stuff so i am going to uh, as you can see your numbers for all of your images are right here on the screen Okay, I mis made a mistake and forgot the little Y part. So there you go. There's your Y um, on this part. So just pause it here. Um, and then I'm going to fast forward it. Okay, here we go. We're on our canvas. Now, here's your original card. It came with the envelope. We're not going to worry about the envelope right now. If you make this the size that it is, it's going to fit into a regular 5x7 um, card envelope. But if you want to make the envelope, it's no big deal. You cut both pieces out, glue them together, fold and glue. It's very, very simple. So, But what I need to do is, is ungroup this. So I'm going to go down here to Actions and then to ungroup. And that just kind of puts everything all in one spot, okay? So I'm not gonna be making the envelope, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I'll show you once we um, make everything. Then, as you can see, if you go down here to edit, this card is just about seven inches wide and just about 10 inches high, which means when it's folded, it'll be five by seven. Okay, so now what we need to do is make the front. Okay, and what we're going to do is, okay, this is the inside of the card. Okay, but we need the outside of the card because we want to make sure if you're ever going to build something, you kind of want to, you, you want the size you're going to build it on. Okay, and we're not going to change any of the card sizes, so leave all those sizes alone. We're only going to change the sizes of the things that are going to go on the front here first. Okay, so first we're going to do the airplane. We're going to change all the colors here in a few minutes, but let's change all the sizes first, okay? So, oops, sorry, hit the wrong button. Um, okay, edit. You've got this, uh, the blue airplane. Click on it, and then you're going to come back down here and on width. You're going to just push two and it's going to be two inches okay this is the white cloud there we go the big white cloud is going to be 2.5 so go down here to width and you're going to go 2.5 okay there we go 
And um, we're gonna change all the sizes first. We need to make another one of these um, clouds here in just a minute. So the blue cloud, it's gonna be 1.75. So you're gonna go here again, 1.75. There we go. The heart is going to be 0.5 inches. So you're gonna go in here and you're gonna do 0.5. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna make it bigger so you can see what you're doing here in just a second. Let me get all these sizes done, okay? And then it's a lot easier for us to make the canvas smaller. Um, then for the banner, we're gonna it's gonna be five inches. So you're gonna go down here and width is going to be five inches. And there you go, you got all your sizes, except we need one more of the white clouds. So you're gonna highlight it, you're gonna go down here to action, which is next to edit, and you're just gonna hit duplicate, okay? And then we're gonna go back to edit, and this one is gonna be 1.5, okay? The original one was 2.5, we want this one a little smaller. There we go, now. We got all of our sizes, see? And what I was saying again about, um, well, I don't know what's going on here. I'll tell you what, this is how you arrange things. You see how that, that airplane disappeared back behind the card? You highlight the card and then you're gonna go down here to arrange, which is right here. Okay, and we, we want it to the very back, so we're gonna send it to the very back. Okay, there you go. Now, all of my other things should show up, okay? So as you can see, you saw the picture of the original. This goes here. There we go. We'll do the writing here in a minute. This here, this here. Now, um, what we're gonna, the, the heart is gonna stay red, so we're gonna leave that there, okay? And I kind of wanted to make this masculine colors because, again, I live with all men. So um, let's change some colors really quick. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do this. But what we're going to do is we're going to change these front colors. And then we will use the, the other technique to do all the airplane colors and stuff, okay? So we're going to go in here to Layers, which is next to Edit and Sync. There we go. Now... We're gonna, we want this to be white, so you're gonna highlight it. Then you're gonna go down here to basic cut where you see the little green circle, and we're gonna change it to white. Okay, there we go. Same with this other one. We're gonna do that one white. And this one, we are going to do a light blue. Now, it doesn't have to be the exact color that you have. My, mainly this is to make sure that they're all being cut out from the same color and that, um, you know, when it gets put onto your, uh, when it gets put onto your mats, that they're all kind of matching. So the banner is going to be white also. So there we go. Look at how good we're doing. Then I am, I used a darker blue also. Now, you see when I highlighted that airplane and down here in the basic cut where we would push to change the color, it just, it doesn't have the color. It just has a uh, uh, question mark. That's because it's made up of different colors, see? So we want this sky to be a dark blue. Now, now you see the yellow, the blue circle because we've only picked that, okay? And let's do a bright red so we can kind of keep Oh, no, I'm sorry. Duh. I did this darker blue, okay, for the plane. We're going to do red here in just a minute, okay? And then when you look over here at the airplane, like I'm going to highlight it again, see? Do you see the black background? And it has the little eye with the slash through it. I want that black, but it's not showing up right now because of the eye. So you go down here to the bottom and you push the little eye with the slash through it. And boom, now it's there, okay? And then this um, propeller, we want it to be gray. And again, it doesn't have to match exactly because we're only gonna use five colors on this card. I like to keep my colors um, basic for cards. You know, you want everything to match, la la la. Now, let's change the color of the card. 
And again, when you highlight the card and you look down here on the lower left and it says multiple with a question mark, the reason that these do that is because it's got a score line with it. Now, if you go in there and you change that to a color, it's going to change the score line too. And we don't want to do that. So again, we're going to go over here to layers and we are only going to, we're going to leave the score line alone and we're only going to pick the card. And we need that is the very outside card. So we're going to do that, the bright red. Okay. And this part of the card, again, you see where the score lines are? You don't want to mess with the score line. So you're going to highlight just the card. And it's going to be that same bright blue. Okay, the darker blue. Okay, so there we go. Now it's looking better, isn't it? Okay, here in a minute we're going to work on the um, on the writing of the banner. And that's pretty much all we've got left to do, except we need to duplicate all three of these because we need two copies. So let me show you the quick and easy way to do that when you have multiples that you want to duplicate. You're going to just put your finger up in the corner, uh, uh, kind of near the cloud. So when you drag it, you're gonna kind of capture all of them. And then you're just gonna drag your finger across. There you go. And look, I did all three. Then you're gonna go back down here to actions and you're gonna hit duplicate again. There we go. We've got everything ready on the card, except for the, uh, on the outside of the card, except for the printing and the banner. And we'll do that here in right now. But, we're not done changing colors on the card, okay? And we are gonna do that with the sync function so you can kind of learn how to do sync if you don't know how, okay? So now, let's work on this. We're not gonna change the size, but I want it to be bigger so we can see it, okay? So let's get it up big here, okay? And we are going to, to put um, a text in there Okay, now let me tell you what we're going to do. First, the font is Agent Q. Agent Q right there, see it? Okay, so you're going to click on that. So that's going to be our font, okay? Now, here's the problem. Let's bring it down here where we can see it, okay? Um, normally, I would... And, and we can do it because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what, what's going on. Normally, I would just tech, uh, type out the whole thing because these are going to be cut out letters, which means you're going to put them one by one on the banner. And the reason that I did that is because on the iPad iPhone app, you can't curve your letters. So if you do it, if, if you cut it out, then you can put your letters. You're not stuck with having a straight text. Let me make it smaller. Say like that. Instead, if you're going to cut them out, then you can put each letter on there one by one and you can follow the curve of the banner. Okay. So, but I don't want to, you know, so here's your choice. Since you know that you're going to be putting these letters on one by one, we can easily um, do all of them at this, you know, all the letters at the same time. Oh, uh, I'm just going to reopen the text. Font. There we go. Then I am going to write, um, you make my sore. Okay. So we're going to, you make my, and then I did a capital sore. That's up to you. Okay. So now you've got this, but look, it's not going to fit on your banner. So we need to change the size on that. And the size is the actual size of the smaller case letters, like the O and the U and the M, they are going to be 0.33. But with since you've got capital letters and the Y going down, you're going to make the whole thing 0.6. Okay, so you're going to go back down here to edit. You're going to go over here. You can see the width like we did before, but this time we're doing the height. Don't do the width. We're going to do the height, okay? And that's going to be 0.6. There we go. Now, if you want to make sure that it's going to fit and all that good stuff, you can go ahead and separate each word and on that, but it will fit. And the little heart is the right size too. Okay, so now you've got your banner, you've got your plane, you've got your clouds, you've got your heart. 
okay? For everything for the front, okay? And the inside of the card, we're not changing. The only thing we're going to change right now is the color, okay? So let's, I'm going to pull this. We've already changed these two colors. Okay, I did make a mistake. I got that in the wrong color. So we're going to go back and we're going to go back to layers and find what we've got. And then we're going to highlight this here and we are going to change it. It's actually the light blue. There we go. Okay, now there we go. Okay, then I am going to tell you something right now because I didn't notice until I was putting it all together. This piece right here, for some reason, didn't cut for me, but I didn't realize it till I was completely done with the card. So it's up to you. If you want this to be kind of a dark gray instead of a black, then you can leave it that way, okay? But what I did instead, um, you see this piece right here, this white piece, that's gonna stay white because that's your clouds and, and some of your stuff. But instead, this piece, this, this all gray piece right here. Oops. I don't want to mess it up here. Okay, there we go. This piece, I changed that to black. Okay, so I didn't notice that this was gone because I changed it all to black. So, um, so I'm going to highlight it over here and I'm going to change it to black. Okay, so it's all totally up to you. If you want to go ahead and cut this out, maybe you have a dark gray. That's totally your choice, okay? But you will not see it when I'm putting it together. What you would do is you would take this black layer and then put the dark gray layer on top and then put everything else on, okay? So there we go. Now, okay, the last thing we have is the Y right here. And it was probably big like this when it came on your canvas. And it should already be in the black. If not, when you get to sink, you can drag it up into the black. But it should all be the, the right color already. And the width is just going to be 0.36. There you go. We've got our basic colors. So let me show you, not having to go each layer by layer, let me show you how to do it in sync. So down here by edit, it says sync. Okay, so we are going to, here's all of our colors, okay? We want all the blacks to be the same. So see these two right here? Okay, let's move those up into the black. Unless you still wanted a dark gray, then you leave that there, okay? And then just do that one. But I, for mine, my card, I moved them all up in the in, into um, that. And then I want all the gray to be the same gray, because, uh, you know, then I have less to, you know, less stuff to mess with on the, when, when they're on the mats. And I like cards that are all synced. Okay, so it really doesn't matter which gray that you pick. We'll pick the little propeller guy. Oops. See? Got to be careful when you're moving it up and down. There we go. This is gray. Let's put all the grays together. Okay, there we go. All the whites are together. Now, the only other thing is we need to put all the reds together. And because, again, I like everything to match. So I'm going to pull this down. There. Now, see how it changed those planes? And, and the heart. Okay. I'm going to pull those down. There we go. Now, let's double check our colors. Okay. Oh, no. I am missing something. I know I am. Oh, there we go this one okay you see this gray guy right here it was originally gray but then i looked over at these planes and then everything's all gray and black so i actually took this guy and i made him dark blue there so we so you know we don't have we have more than one dark blue thing okay so that should be it we've got black we've got dark blue light blue gray red and white all done Look at that. Look how simple that was. So now you're ready to send it to your mats. Go ahead and get everything cut out. And I will meet you over at the craft table and we'll put it together. Let's go make it. Okay, guys. Here we are at the craft table. As you see, it's well loved. I work a lot here. Okay. Now, my first tip here is um, I've, I've put everything on different... Um, 
on different paper plates. I kind of keep everything separate, especially if I'm going to have a bunch of little tiny pieces like this. A lot, most of the time, I'll just keep them on my mat and just take them off, off as I'm building whatever I'm making because um, that just makes it easier to keep track of. But with you guys, I, I kind of laid out, especially all these small little pieces. So this is pieces of this airplane. This is the inside of the card. This is the cover of the card. Okay? So we'll start. Let's go ahead and put the cover on. Just because I uh, I want it to be drying while we work on the inside here, okay? So, let's just do this, okay? There we go. Just like that. Oops, let me put these guys back. Okay, here we go. Now, what I did is I went ahead and put all the letters on there and the heart, just because you don't want to spend 15 minutes watching me put one, little tiny letters on. And... Um, if you want to use your pen on this and, and do it that you can, the problem is when you're using your phone or your iPad, or your iPhone or your iPad, it, it, you're not able to, if you're using your laptop, you can curve your words, but if you're on your iOS system, you can't. So by cutting these, all these letters out, you can kind of make them curve a little better. So... You, so I went ahead and put all those on there for you. Now, I had a different airplane, but I didn't like the way it looked. So I got another one. Okay, so what I like to use is art glitter glue. Okay, I, I get a big refill. These, I get the little extra top here because it puts on a really thin line of um, liquid glue, not enough to wrinkle your paper. You remember when you were a kid and you did Elmer's glue and it, and it made your paper all wrinkle, right? Okay. And there's that. And then, you know what? I just showed you on the program where I just made this little Y guy and he is going to be the plane pulling the, um, banner. Okay. So let's go ahead and put the plane together real quick. We're just going to this is uh, super simple. Sometimes when I am doing smaller things like this, I do things with less mm, detail, I guess would be the word. Just because it turns out you have all these little tiny pieces. And to tell you the truth, I just don't have time to mess with them. Okay? So... Uh, and these are cards, so, you know, they're not like you're hanging them on your wall or anything, you know, so, um, so we're going to put this right here, here's the little, and I wanted to pick one with a propeller, because the ones on the inside of the card have propellers, okay, so let's get that guy lined up on there, there we go, okay, and he's going to kind of be diagonal like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the airplane on here. And like I said, this way, if we get a little glue outside the lines, it will be dry by the time we finish the inside. There we go. We're going to put this right up there in the corner. Okay. Oops, you know what I forgot? I need to put the thing under the airplane. Now, the only bad thing about this art glitter glue is if you don't, uh, is that it dries really fast. It's, it is great, great paper to paper glue. I love it. But it also doesn't give you any time to mess up, which is fine. I'll just put a little bit of extra glue on there that glues him down. There we go. And that will all dry clear, so you're not even going to see it. And then let's go ahead and do this. It's better to put this on first before you put your clouds. And then, you know, if you want to do your clouds different than what I did mine, then, hey, you got no problem, right? Yeah, I'm going to make it there. I'm going to pull it down just a little bit. Ah, there we go. Just like that. There we go. Now, um, I explained to this when I was doing the intro. What I did, I know how hard it is. I have all men here. I know exactly how hard it is to find, you know, especially with the cricket programs and stuff, to find good cards for guys. And I have all men here, so of course. Um, I'm always wanting some 
you know, I've been married for 32 years. So I do want to, you know, show my hubby that I value him and all that good stuff. So this, actually, I think I'm going to reverse this, both of them, just because, just so it's different. It doesn't matter. They're the same front or back. And let's see, what do I want to do here? Hmm, I may not put all three, but design is, or the design rules that designers all have. There we go. How's that? Oops. Nope. I'm going to put this one on top like that, and then put this one on top like that. I'm just going to group them up just a little bit more. There we go. How's that look? I like it. So let's do that really quick. And of course, you can put your clouds wherever you want to put your clouds. That's the nice thing about making it yourself. Okay. Um, and, uh, and well, what, what I was try going to try to say was if the thing is, I tried to make a bunch of these Valentine cards for men because, again, hard to find. But also, this doesn't say Valentine's on it anywhere. And I did that on purpose because you can add it to the inside if you want. Um, you can write it in your own handwriting. I always suggest to write in your own handwriting somewhere on the card just because... When, you know, when you're not around anymore, they're going to want some things in your own handwriting. And I think it's pretty personal. Or you can, um, let's do, how about right there? There you go. Boom. Done. That's how quick the front is. Look at that. But the reason I didn't put Valentine's down here is so maybe you don't want to do this for Valentine's Day, but you can do it for your anniversary. You can do it for his birthday. You can do it, um, you know. Just because, hey, I love you, dude. Okay? And I'm a simple graphic person. So I keep mine pretty simple, pretty graphic. And, you know, I think most guys like that, too. So there we go. That one's done. I'm going to set it aside so it can dry. Now, let's do the inside here. Okay? Now, I already bent this but because I, I wanted to show you. Okay, this... These two right here, that's what's going to go into the fold of the red that we just finished, okay? And then these are going to be bent out, as you can see. And then it's easier to fold it and do these bends right here and, and, and bend them really good, okay? So let me show you from the top. Hopefully you can see that. Let me see where I'm at. Okay, you see that? It's going to pop out just enough, see? And you see this part? See, that's how far it is away from the fold of the card. So it's going to pop out a little bit. So go ahead and bend those because they're easier to do it before. Okay. And then we're not even going to build on this yet. But I wanted to show you that. Okay. Because So that's how that's going to be bent. It's a lot easier to build it on these other pieces. Um, basically, so if you mess up, you're not messing up your whole card. Okay. So here's our white base. That's going to be first. Okay, and then we are going to put this black base just like that. Okay, so let's do that first. Put it up here where you can see it. I am still getting used to building all this at an arm's length. You know, I'm used to being right on top and making sure everything is, is centered and attached and lined up just so and so I'm still learning how to do that when I have to do it at an arm's length to make sure that I get it on film so you guys can really see it so this art glitter glue like I said it glues fast and good so I'm gonna get it really good and lined up piece by piece see whoops there we go make sure this part is lined up Okay, and you see how that one's kind of bent still up in the air? There we go, just like that. One, oh, once all you get, I had some glue on my finger, sorry about that. 
I will take a white eraser, or this is an old timey thing that I've had for years and years, and it's for getting glue off of paper. So you can get one of these. I, I think you can still get them on Amazon. I'll look for it, and if and if I can find it on Amazon, I'll stick a link at, in the thing. But it kind of takes off the old, see, all that uh, glue residue. Now, look, we still haven't stuck this one down, so I'm going to make sure that I get this one all. Oh. Pull it down just a little bit. There we go. I don't know what that white is. A little part that didn't cut, I guess. Okay. There we go. Now, we are going to do the red. Okay. And this goes right here. Okay. So, let's do that really fast. it lined up so that's why I wasn't too too worried about getting everything lined up because the, your next layer sometimes will cover up if you've if you're just a little bit off so don't worry too much about it okay and then here is my gray and and this little red round thing that goes on the tail of the other one just because I'm trying to keep everything kind of lined up a little bit okay see this one goes in the middle and these are your two wings, and this is the tail, just because it's easier for me. But like I said, see, I just flipped that over, and it's not going to fit. But like I said, I no I will normally just leave them on the um on the mat and peel them off as I use them. Okay. Now here is this. Hmm. And it is going to go right. Oops, can you see? It is going to go right there got it okay so let's get this guy glued down this is really simple and i don't think this um this part of this whole video is going to take long at all because this all of this stuff is really simple and that's another reason why i kept the inside the um uh oops uh-oh what i'm missing oh Look, here it is on my thing. I'm missing the blue. I didn't pull it off the mat. Like I said, I leave stuff on the mat if I need to. So, that's easily solved. Now, we'll move over here to this airplane. Okay. Because this one's done already. Look how quick and easy that was. Okay, so, you're going to put that one right there. So, you can see the, the clouds back through the window. Okay, so let's get this guy put on. You don't need a ton of glue. You know, this isn't going to be manhandled or anything. Um, you're going to put it up on your mantle or something and display it for a little while. And then put it away and save it wherever you save it. Okay. And see, here's a little black dot that, that was with that too. Oops. Okay. And it's going to go right here in this round circle. And then I'm also going to put the red thing on the front where the, um, hmm, where the, um, propeller is. Hmm, okay, that's strange. Anyway, no, no biggie. Nothing, not, not a big deal. Okay, and then we're going to put this red right here. There we go. Boom, boom, easy. Well, silly me. I said this does it fast, but not that fast. You can still pick it up and move it around. There we go. Okay, now the other part is these little red lines are going to go on this tail right here. Okay, so first is going to be this one. Okay, and it's going to go, there we go, you're going to, it's going to go right here at the same curve, okay? So, let's do this one first. I want to make sure I get this in the right spot. See, look, I have it pulled up on my iPad so I can look. Okay, it goes right to the corner. Oh, I see. See, look, we're going to cover up that little piece of blue. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Can you tell I haven't put this one together yet? I mean, I did. I laid it all out, but I didn't lay out the little pieces. Okay. Then the next one is this one. 
okay? And it's gonna go right in the middle. Okay, just like that. There we go. And then you've got this little tiny one and it goes right up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put, it's too hard to put it, the glue on a smaller piece like that. So sometimes I'll moisten my finger and pick up the pieces like that. And it's easier for me to kind of get them to where they need to go. And then I can kind of move them around a little bit, see? There we go. And then I kind of smush my finger on there and that takes away some of the glue. There we go, just like that, boom. Second, um, second plate is all done. Now, this first one, this is going to go right here. And, and it's going to overlap a little bit of the tail. It's supposed to do that. Okay? So it's going to run right along the bottom. And you're going to match up the tail. Make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm where you can see me here. Okay. Then this is going to go right in the middle. Okay, it looks like it just goes just south of... Let me turn it a little bit so you might can see it better. Just south of about right... Let's get it straight. It needs to be on there straight because I'm a bad perfectionist. Okay. Now, these are going to go here. And here okay just like that and then the other ones go on the other side and then boom you're done I told you this is not going to take long at all um, this is a pretty easy set we can go ahead and get it done and then you've got a cute card for your husband or your boyfriend or your girlfriend um, and, and boom, you're set, or your pilot, or your learner, or somebody. I went skydiving on my 50th birthday. <laughs> my husband gave it to me as a Christmas present. And it was too cold, of course, to go in December. So, oh, my birthday's in April. So, I went skydiving on my 50th birthday. And, of course, I was teasing him that... Um, I go on my birthday, so if something does happen, then he can uh, get a discount on um, on my tombstone because it's the exact same date, right? You only had to carve it in there once. He didn't like that joke at all. Don't say that. So we've been married for 33 years, so I guess I got to keep him around. So there, boom, you're done, okay? And like I said, it's a lot easier to build it here. Because if you try to build it on here, now look, see, all our plates are empty. I can put them so I can use them again and recycle them when I'm done, which will be a hundred and so times. Now, what we're going to do, and you can go ahead and make this flat again, okay? But once you glue it on here, don't leave it flat because uh, you might get some glue on it. might make it, you know, you might not pop it out real good okay you see how if we line it all up just like it's supposed to be just like that okay so let's go ahead and get this guy glued on and then you are so close to being done it's ridiculous and we didn't talk about the envelope I didn't cut the envelope out here and I'm going to show you why here in just a minute this card already when it was designed was designed to be a five by seven card so when you look to go build your card, you can look, if it says seven by 10, so this is 10, this is seven, which means half is five, right? So it's a seven by five card or five by seven card. Okay, let's get this guy all lined up here. Make sure I get the clouds lined up good. There we go, look at that. Okay, now, but don't leave it like that. Make sure you go ahead and pop it out because if you get a little bit of glue on the back side, you don't want it to get messed up, right? Okay, so, and you just kind of fold this down here. Again, that's what it's supposed to look like. It's only going to pop out about mm, half an inch, three quarters of an inch, something like that, okay? There you go. Now, you already finished the outside of your card, and now all we got to do is glue this in. 
Now, when you're making one of these pop-up cards that lays out flat like this, this one is not, obviously. This one is going, once we're done, if you're going to display it, you're going to display it like this, okay? It's not, it's not made to lay out flat. But some of these that pop up here like this, and they need to lay out flat, you wouldn't, you wouldn't um, keep this all in one piece because when you glue these in the back, um, it doesn't match up when you want to lay it flat. But since we're not having to lay it flat, we don't have to worry about that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do this big back part, okay? And let me show you a couple tips on this. Now, you don't need to be, you know, super generous with the glue. Like, again, it's not going to be manhandled on a daily basis or anything like that, but you want to make sure you get around all the little edges, especially the these back that are going to be back along the fold. Okay, so we're going to make sure we get all around these little edges and here. And then we're just going to kind of do a little bit in the middle. Okay, so we don't have any glue on the back side, so we don't have to worry too much about that. So the best thing to do is bend it up like this. Okay, first uh, I got to have to turn it because I can't see. Okay, first we're going to get see, make sure they're even on either side. Okay, kind of even. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's a handmade. You know, handmade is never going to be perfect like store-bought is. Okay, there we go. Okay, look. I've got this line and these folds all lined up. Okay, best thing to do, just close the card. Okay, there you go. Just like that. And boom, you've done it. Okay, now your next one is... You're gonna do pretty much the same thing, okay? Because you want to be a, you want it to go flat for when you if you're gonna mail it, okay? So let's get this glued up, and then I'll talk about the envelope real quick, and then we'll be done. So here you go. We're gonna go all now. This side, we're gonna make sure we get it really good around these these edges because it'll help it pop out, okay? So you want to make sure it pops out really good and, and it doesn't pull away from the back. Okay, and make, try to make sure you don't get glue on the other part that we want to pop out. Okay, now, and this time we're going to go pretty close to the outside edge. Okay, and if you want, you can stick a couple lines there. Okay, now we're going to do the exact same thing because we want it to go flat when we mail it. Okay, if you're going to mail it. Okay, but even if you're going to put it in an envelope, you want it to be flat. Smush it down pretty good, and look at that. You're done. Look how quick and easy that was. You did it. Now, let me show you this. You see how there's that gap right there? That's okay with this card because it's it, you're not going to open it flat. See, see what happens when you try to open it flat? So, with this one, it doesn't matter. Because it's, that's not what it's made for. It's made to stand up like this. So it does. Um, but if you're going to make the other one, you'll have it. It'll be split right here. And it'll be in two different pieces. So just a little FYI thing. And look at that. Look how cute that is. Nice graphic. Guys like graphic. And then, again, I left this um, blank. Now, the one that you get, of course, is the whole thing is blank. But this way, if you want to go back into Cricut, and um, print out a, a happy Valentine's Day or cut out a happy Valentine's Day or you just want to write it, I, ha I love you, happy Valentine's Day, your boo, right? Um, or, you know, or happy anniversary, happy birthday. I mean, this can be used for a lot of things and that's why I didn't super brand it as, as Valentine's Day, okay? And then let me talk to you about the envelope. You can buy these envelopes you know, groups of them, either on Amazon, you can buy them at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, whatever you like. I tend to buy them with this card blank, you know, this blank card that'll go into them. And this is a five by seven card, uh, envelope for a five by seven card. Okay. So if you just want to get a package of these, they're cheap. You can wait for them to go on sale and just use those for the cards that you're making. See, works perfect. Okay. And especially if you're going to send it in the mail. Now, of course, you can make the one that comes with this card. It's not a problem. You know, super easy. Um, but, you know, if you don't want to mess with it, then you can just get these and make sure that all your cards are 5 by 7 cards. 
and boom, you got it. You're done. If not, just make the envelope that comes with it. There you go. You made it. I'm so proud of you. Quick and easy.